Dobrý den. Another lesson, second lesson in Czech language, or more precisely in sounds which compose the Czech language, building blocks. But very soon the first wall will elevate. You will see. Just learn and see. Walls. So basic wall phonemes are a, e, i, o, u, i, and the official diphthong o. The long counterparts are a, e, i, o, u. Or u, same sound, the first occurs in the middle, the second in at the beginning of the word. No mystery. And e, the diphthong, I don't believe it can be elongated. O, perhaps in onomatopoeia, but. And we have also, of course, consonants. Three groups of them. Hard, neutral and soft. So we have done with the part of the elongation, which is done thanks to the diacritic's acute accent. And now we will proceed with a classification, which is just a I would say convention, and with the softening or mollification, which will be done thanks to hard check or the inverted Chinese hat. So let's see the soft consonants first. Z, sh, ch, r, the unique one. R, d, d, and n. The neutral are b, f, l, m, p, s, v, z. And hard consonants are h, h, k. R, d, t, n. So more about the inverted circumflex, the hard check. It is used with certain letters to form new characters. They are not new, but they sound differently from the original one. As s becomes esh. Z becomes Z, C becomes Ch, N becomes N, E becomes Y. This is the only vowel which has the inverted circumflex over it. Otherwise, it's dedicated to consonants. R becomes R and D becomes D. The last two letters, T becoming T and D becoming D, are sometimes written with a comma above. We use them only for aesthetical reasons. It has not other meaning. And it is called also an abbreviated hard check because it lessens the high of the letter and it looks better in, in print. What do you think about Czech language? Comment, react, let me know. I hope you find the Czech language quite easy and interesting. New sounds, new mindset. Imagine you can command your own beer in a fluent Czech. Jedno pivo, prosím. Děkuji. Cool. 
Brzy nashledanou.